Now I'm going to use the lookup function to find the information. In this example, the data about the trips have been copied onto this worksheet. The trips are over here, and we are going to find the date for the Aqualand trip. So I'm going to enter the cell B6, and I'm going to press the function, and I would like to use the VLOOKUP function to look up the date from this table. So what I do is the lookup value is the name of the trip. Table array is the table that I'm going to look up the information from. The colon number is the dates are in column 3. So I enter here the number 3. Range lookup. We are going to type here false. Because in this example, we wish to find an exact match for the value we specified in the lookup value box. Had we been looking for the closest match, then we would have written true instead. Now I press OK. And now I've got the date the 10th of the 5th. Let's see if Aqualand is with the correct date. And yes, it is. Now I can try to change this to Sumerine. And you can see the value changes. The date is now the second. Same would happen if I change now to Lagus Su. The fourth of the fourth. So this function is doing exactly what we wanted it to do. Now let's try to look up the cost per person. That would be the entry price. And if we want to look up the cost for Lagus Su, we're going to write here the function. Double click on the lookup. The lookup value is the name of the trip. Table array, the same as before, the table we're using. Colon would be now for entry price column number two. So I write two in here. Range lookup, again false because we want the exact match. And I press OK. And now the cost per person is 14 for Lagusu, and that's correct. Now we only need one formula here to calculate the total cost. So I write equals 4 times the cost per person, press enter, and here we have the value. We can also change the decimal places, decrease or increase, and here you can change the currency. Now let's try this with the phone numbers worksheet. Uh, if we would like to look up the phone number from for Jim Smith, we do the same thing. The function, the lookup. What do we want to look up? We want to look up the name of the person from this table. And the numbers are in colon number 2. 1, 2. So we write 2. And false again to get the exact match. Okay. Is this correct for Jim Smith? 964 465. Yes, correct. Now let's try this for Sandra and see if the, yep, the number changes. And here's Sandra, and this is her correct phone number. Now, why don't you try this out by copying this worksheet, both of them? And uh, for this one, you could try to enter the formula yourself. And here you can try to work out other numbers and even add data if you would like.